Okay, let me be very explicit here. Okay, you ready? If you think creeping Sharia is happening here in the United States, I can't, I'm not talking about other countries. Okay, I'm talking about the United States. If you think creeping Sharia is happening here in the United States, you are delusional. You're as delusional as the people who believe in the flat earth. You're as delusional as creationists. It is delusional. Okay? And there's a reason why people are comparing that kind of delusional mindset with Nazis. Let me explain a little bit here, if, if you still don't get it, okay? There were probably, in the, the late 1930s, early 1940s, there were probably a tiny, 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 tiny handful of Jews who kind of represented the things that the Nazis were, were railing against. So did that justify the fear and hatred towards the rest of the Jews because of this tiny minority? That tiny minority that was no threat whatsoever? At all? No, no, it didn't justify that hatred. And this tiny minority of Muslims who have done these awful things do not justify the fear and hate towards Muslims. It does not justify it. It does not justify this, this fear that, oh, Muslims are going to take over in the United States. No, it doesn't justify that. It doesn't justify this belief that people who make 0.9% of the population are going to implement their religious, religious, political religious viewpoints into our law system. Okay, you, if you really think that, while we have over 70% of our population Christians and some of the most extreme ones are in our government, ready to implement stuff. If you think that sh Sharia is going to make its way in government when we've had, when the Christians have struggled to get their beliefs put into law, yeah, you are delusional. You are delusional. If you think there's creeping Sharia here, you are delusional. And that's why I challenge you to find a source that says that there's creeping Sharia. And it's not just some blog somewhere. Okay? G give, it, it, you know, give a source that says there's creeping Sharia that actually criticizes Christianity. And, you know, maybe I'll look at it, and maybe I'll consider it if it seems like a reasonable article. But I don't think that article is going to exist. Okay, let's be clear here. Those of you atheists who are buying into this creeping Sharia, yeah, you're buying into dominionism. Let me ask something. What is the way of life that we have here? What are some of the roots of the way of life we have here? Some of the roots of that is Christianity. So if your whole thing is to, well, we need to, we need to promote traditionalism, which is what many of you are doing, you are promoting dominionism.
Then we have people like, like Fresh Whole Milk saying that he would prefer to live in a Christian theocracy than what the United States has turned into. And that made me just go, you know, this is one of the few times that I have no problem with saying the phrase, yeah, check your privilege. It's all nice of you to say that you wouldn't mind, that would be okay. It, you'd, you'd support that when you wouldn't be negatively affected by it at all. Someone like me would probably either be in jail, would have electro, probably have electroshock therapy, or maybe I'd even be killed. Maybe some of you forget what happens when you combine church and state. All of the reasonable things that Christianity has become over the years will fade if, if it is combined with the government. When people start to feel justified in persecuting others via their belief system, and they can persecute them legally, you'll start to see more things in, let's say, the book of Leviticus being put into law. Of course, not the things about, you know, probably never the things about shellfish or wearing mixed fibers, but uh, there's quite a few of the other ones, like how to treat your wife, how to treat your children, that sort of thing that could make its way in and look at all these rednecks out there. Well, I should be able to beat my children. It, 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 it builds character and it makes them whatever fucking excuses they have, right? They can, and you can trace their beliefs in raising kids like this to the churches. So yeah, fresh whole milk. You're you're all right with that. You think that's better than what we have right now. Disgusting motherfucker. <laughs>